Hi friends, this is Samna Sheikh. I am from Vyans Medical Academy. I would like to explain the important chapter about reproductive in organisms. Before going to this chapter, I would like to say few lines of introduction about this chapter. First, every organism has certain time period to live. The period from birth to death is called lifespan. Guys, when we see a short organism in our environment, it doesn't mean it has short days to live. Similarly, when we see long organisms in our environment, it doesn't mean it has longer days to live. For example, take parrot. Its lifespan is 140 years. Take crow. Its lifespan is 15 years. By these examples, I hope you may understand that I go to statements what I say. Okay guys, by these examples of conclusion, the important point to need point of view, that is, please concentrate on that point, Unnecessary to calculate the organisms with their sizes. Once again, I'm saying and repeating, please concentrate on that point. It is unnecessary to calculate the organisms with their sizes. Okay. Guys, it is very important for us and need point of view also. In previous years, 2018 and 19, this point is repeated in a need examination. That is, no individual organism is immortal except single cell organism. Once again repeating, please concentrate on that no individual organism is immortal except single cell organism that is amoeba. Okay, clear? Coming to our main topic of this lesson is reproduction. What is meaning of reproduction? Reproduction is we think that it is a uh, formation of gametes and fusion of gametes and as successful reproduction and asexual reproduction. It is not a correct definition for reproduction, but it is basic for information to us. But correct definition to the reproduction is the biological process of every organism that gives new offspring is called reproduction. Again, the biological process of every organism that gives new offspring is called reproduction. Okay, next point. Based on participant of one organism or two organisms, the methods of reproduction is divided into two types. One is asexual reproduction and second one is sexual reproduction. Okay, coming to our main topic, asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. I will give two main importance about asexual reproduction. It is single cell organism and it is without involvement of gamete formation. Okay, and asexual reproduction is divided into two types. Animal asexual reproduction Plant asexual reproduction. Coming to animal asexual reproduction. Animal asexual reproduction is divided into two types. Motile structures, common structures. Motile structures. What is of motile structures? In higher organisms of kingdom fungi and algae, they have special motile structures and they produce like juice pores and conidia. And coming to common structures, the lower organisms of algae and fungi that give produce like genules and budding. Okay, coming to the plant asexual reproduction. Plant asexual reproduction means the several aquatic terrestrial species of angiosperms, the structures like suckers, rhizomes, and stolons, etc. Are they known as are the method produced by asexual reproduction and it is commonly called as vegetative propagation also. Next, the main point to us in need point of view is all prokaryotic unicellular organism they produce asexual reproduction by two methods: the cellular division and next one is binary fission. Cell division. Those organisms which produce are which occur in cellular division, they are protista and monera. And next one, those organisms which occur in binary fission, they are amoeba and paramecium. Guys, coming to the amoeba, it is very important in need point of view, please concentrate on that amoeba structures. Amoeba. Amoeba is a basis of its environment, it is divided into two types, unconditional and conditional. In conditional basis, the amoeba is containing of withdrawal of pseudopodia and the process is called association and in conditional of pseudopodia means it uses of pseudopodia it is called sporulation. 
by this guys this is a amoeba diagrammatic representation guys this is a nucleus and this amoeba is divided into cell division means two cells are divided in equally halves and the two cells are divided into daughter cells here the amoeba is divided into daughter cells guys by this process we can understand this by the manifestation of the amoeba is divided into two daughter cells guys here diagrammatic representation is very important for neat point of view every diagram is important for neat please concentration on the neat that means i mean in diagrams also okay coming to the sexual reproduction guys sexual reproduction next topic is our important topic for neat is sexual reproduction in this topic only we get two to three points of questions in neat examination and in previous year student 18 and 19 in this topic two to three bits are given so please concentrate on sexual reproduction topic sexual reproduction sexual reproduction means i will give two main important for sexual reproduction one it is gamete formation and second one it is slower complex as compared to asexual reproduction okay i will repeat once again please concentrate it is gamete formation and it is Slower, complex, as compared to asexual reproduction. Okay, asexual sexual reproduction is divided into two types: juvenile phase and reproductive phase. Guys, here juvenile phase are also vegetative phase also present in sexual reproduction. Means juvenile phase. What is meaning of juvenile phase? Means the process which occur in animals it called juvenile phase. The process which occur in plant it is called vegetative phase. Means in juvenile phase the Uh, why we call it juvenile phase means the period of growth of organisms or plants it is called juvenile phase and coming to the reproductive phase reproductive phase means the higher plants which come to flowering and mature it is called reproductive phase reproductive phase is divided into two phases means animal sexual reproduction and plant sexual reproduction here animal sexual reproduction has further going to two types ostracycle and menstrual cycle okay what is meaning of ostracycle ostracycle means it is a non primates and it is continuous breeders means it's every year it means every day they are continuing breeding example cow sheep goat menstrual cycle menstrual cycle means it is a seasonal breeders example monkeys honey human beings and apes examples of menstrual cycle and coming to plant sexual reproduction plant sexual reproduction means it is a it is also some of breeders means which occur some of the plant plants which come to flowering once a year it is called as bamboo and those are those organisms of plants which occur in 12 years in flowering means stoblandus kunthiana means in telugu it is called nila gurinji guys this topic is very important for neat point of view last year means to the 18 and 19 this bit is repeated neat examination please concentrate on that those organisms of flowering plants which occur in once in 12 years are called stoblandus kunthiana in telugu it is called nila kurinji i will say few lines of nila kurinji plant it is a violet in color and it is attractive for tourism and it is growing hilly areas like kerala karnataka and tamil nadu okay coming to next point all organism plants and flowers they have two types diploid and haploid here what is meaning of diploid and what is meaning of haploid diploid means the organisms which in twin chromosomes and haploid means the organisms which in n chromosomes here diploid means which occur in plants means twin numbers means example let us let us see the chromosomes which occur diploid and haploid in plants flowers and organisms this is the table chromosome in meiosis means twin number chromosomes in gametes means n number guys this is a examples of these human beings and fruit fly and potato and rice this is a different types of organisms means human beings it is a organism fruit fly it is a uh, fly flowers and it is potato means it is plants human beings in human beings in chromosomes in meiosis means twin number it is a 46 in chromosome in gametes means 23 and next point it is a fruit fly in chromosomes in meiosis meiosis is 8 and chromosomes in gametes is 4 and next one coming to potato and chromosome in meiosis is 48 then chromosomes in gametes is 24 and coming to rice it chromosomes in meiosis is 24 and chromosomes in gametes is 12 okay clear this is the examples of 
chromosomes in plants and organisms and flowers. And coming to main topic of sexual reproduction is events of sexual reproduction. In this main topic, if given chances to need examination, please concentrate in this topic also. Events of sexual reproduction. Events. In sexual reproduction also, some of the events will occur in all organisms or um, plants and flowers. In events also occur. So, events of sexual depression are divided into three types pre fertilization, unfertilization, and post fertilization. Pre fertilization. Pre fertilization means what? What is the meaning of pre fertilization? It is nothing but the formation of two gametes, means the newly producing of gametes in formed in pre fertilization. They are divided into two types gametogenesis and gamete transfer. Gamete, gamete transfer means it is a physically the two gametes are transferred physically and brought together in a facilitative fusion. Here gametogenesis means here difference of gametes means in humans it is a gametes, in flowers it is homogamous. These are the examples. Examples of gametogenesis means isolated of cladophora and heterogametes of human beings. These are, these are the examples of gametogenesis. Here isogametes of cladophora. These are two types means two equal gametes here. So isogametes of larvae. Here two different types. Heterogametes of human beings. It, it is a in female egg and it is sperm. It contains in male. So it is a heterogametes of in humans. These are the examples of gametogenesis. And coming to the fertilization. Fertilization also two types in occur. In internal and external. External means it is occur in fertilization outside of the body. Means here external which occurs in outside of the body examples are fishes and frogs. In internal also two types, motile and non-motile. Means internal fertilization means the fusion of fertilization which occur inside of the body. Means examples, means it is divided into two types, motile and non-motile. In motile, the male gamete which leads to egg. Example, human beings. In non-motile, the male gamete which carry to the female gamete by pollen tube. It is occurring plants. Okay. Coming to the post fertilization. Post fertilization also divided into two types: zygote and embryology. Zygote. It is the meaning of how zygote formation means. It is a fertilization product. Guys, this is a very important for your point of view. Please concentrate that every sexual organism will should start the life with single cell organism. Even in human beings also. In human beings also, zygote formation single cell organism. It is a main important for point for lead examination. Please concentrate on that. And next, coming to the embryology. Means embryology means when the embryology stage is started, then the zygote is divided, starting the cell division to develop the embryo. Then embryo formation in two ways, in animals also, plants also, or uh, organisms, some other organisms. In formation is two ways. They are animal embryology and plant embryology. Coming to the animal embryology, it is also formation of two ways. They are oviparous and viviparous. Oviparous, oviparous means what? The egg laying animals which contain, then it is called oviparous. Oviparous examples are reptiles. And the main important in oviparous is in need examination that is oviparous means egg laying shells. Means in egg laying shells means the shells is made up of calcareous shells. It is made important for the point of view. Please concentrate on this oviparous and events of sexual reproduction also. In viviparous, viviparous means the formation of fertilization in our body means the formation of zygote in our body which gives to n ones is occurring in viviparous. Examples human beings. We all you know the we get new n ones means we develop new n ones too in the world. So, we are the examples to be parents and some other animals are in present. So, examples see human beings. Okay guys, this is a full of details of repression organism. By this end of the chapter, I would like to say few lines to you. Please concentrate on your studies and practice well for meat and practice well for your goals. And last thing that is, you know the quotation also. Practice makes men perfect. So please keep your mind and don't divert your mind and reach your goals. So finally, Vyan's Medical Academy is saying our wishes to you to achieve your goals for need final examinations and thank you and signing off.